I just want to talk about what happened last night. For weeks, a bunch of us have been um, speaking to the city about the reality of winter. And yes, winter is hard. And the African refugees who are here are about to experience their first winter. They are not only going to be shocked. I've said that there's a predictable outcome here. We're asking people who have never experienced winter to now figure out how to survive living outside. And this narrative has been going on for weeks. Last night was going to be the first cold snap of the city. After all our best efforts, a lot of people went into a deputation with the city. There was no movement with what people have been requesting. The first cold snap last night presented a very terrible scenario. Um, I myself, I know what it's like to be exposed to the cold for too long. You experience hypothermia and I've gone through that before. That's a another story for another day in the afternoon there's been a conglomerate of us who have been meeting monday afternoons to just figure out how to coordinate how to work together and i'll be honest our meeting in the afternoon was unpleasant we were coming up with all sorts of bad ideas that were not the greatest idea and we were literally ranking our bad ideas amongst each other. Eventually, we landed with our number one plan being, oh, let's um, get the city to bring some buses so people can stay warm there and get out of the elements. Our other plans were also not great. It was uh, buy a patio heater so people can heat up and that was already better than my original suggestion was which was to get fire pit and firewood and then the last option was to uh, move people into a church to set up a four to eight hour warming center i went to canadian tire and heaters i needed weren't there i told the guy what it was for and so he pointed at one more expensive one and said, hey, you can get this for a deal. Go help people. And so eventually I arrive at uh, Peter Street and I'll be honest, I've been dealing more with um, Dominion Church and Pilgrim Feast. And so I was quite shocked to see the scene there. While we were there, a bunch of us were scrambling to figure out options. A city councilor was there who got in touch with the mayor and the mayor was on the phone with someone from our group. While that was happening, I had a car full of jackets. People quickly found out I had jackets and so I got swarmed. <laughs> I had to create some order and the uh, jackets were gone in 20 minutes. And after some uh, phone calls and media attention and social media pressure, there was an option to bus people into different shelters and the people can stay in like boardrooms to just stay warm. Um, and this was a better idea than our, our terrible ideas. And so we actually spent the night just getting people warm, got some coffee and uh, help people stay calm and eventually the bus arrived in just the nick of time because that's when uh, I felt it I felt the temperatures drop hard I felt the the harshness of the cold before I left the last person I helped was this older lady I won't say her name but she was already all bundled up and uh, it took her five minutes to just get out of her shell of 
sleeping bags and because of uh, her lack of mobility I had to help her put on her boots like my five-year-old and I remember just weeping as I'm helping her put her boots on and she had four big black bags all she owns they were heavy and wet because of the rain in the morning and so it's quite heavy to carry them but once I got her on the bus um, everyone was on the bus and now that's how the night ended um, this is not over there's more things to do but that's what happened last night